guys what's up welcome back to my channel so for this week's client makeup tutorial I'm going to be doing this springtime orange little subtle smoky blown out eye um, I'm really excited I love how it came out so we're just jumping into it I'll be using the ABH modern renaissance palette and I'm using the brown shade I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head but I'm using that as a transition shade for her so I'm just putting that lightly in the crease now I'm packing a uh, real gar or Relgar um, onto her lid first and then slightly blending it up to the crease a little bit I didn't get to show you the product because I get like super self-conscious when other people are around me and I'm filming and the salon was packed this day it was a Saturday so we were full house so sorry about that uh, now I'm just taking real gar and buffing it into the crease and blending out the uh, lid as well so it looks seamless and I switched to a smaller blending brush that actually comes in the palette. I love this brush. It's bomb. <laughs> and I'm just going back and forth and packing the color, blending, pack, blend. That's key when you're going to have a color blown out completely over the eye. Pack it, blend it, pack it, blend it. <laughs> And to do that, I am packing on the shade with the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Blending Brush. I just love it. Super fluffy. And then to actually blend it out and blow the color out, I use the Morphe M541 brush. Best blending brush I've ever used. Actually, the second. The first one is by BH Cosmetics, but this one you can buy on itself, uh, by itself instead of in a set. You're lying. Don't you see that? I want you to be my now I'm just taking some black eyeliner and I'm just lining her lid so uh, the falsies will blend. No wing today because I just wanted to keep it super soft yet a little glam. And I'm using the Maybelline black gel liner. I put it on the back of my hand to warm it up. It works so much better when I put it on the back of my hand rather than the metal uh, palette I use because, you know, my hand has warmth so it blends out easily. Now I'm just taking the Lash Firm Lashes and the Style Lavish and applying that. It looked like I poked her in the eye, but I didn't. I was going to catch the lash. <laughs> now moving to face, I'm using the Black Opal uh, Poreless Perfection Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. It looks a little too light right now, but um, that's only because I'm matching to her chest and her chest was a lot lighter. So always match to the chest. We, you know, we match face and necks around here. <laughs> and I'm just blending that out with a Beauty Blender. You call me your friend. Now I'm just spritzing her face with the NYX First Face Setting Spray. Uh, I just like to do this before foundation, but I forgot, so I'm applying it now. I feel like it just makes everything, like the makeup, adhere to the face and blend out a lot better. So I use the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn to highlight, and I'm taking uh, Espresso. <laughs> Sorry, stuttering a little bit. Espresso to cream contour, and then I'm blending that out first because I like to let the concealer sit there, get a little matte, and it actually ends up looking a little brighter. So now I'm blending out the concealer with the e.l.f. concealer brush, and look how flawlessly, flawlessly, it blends out um, the concealer. It's beautiful, I love it, and I'm blending out her nose, and then I'm going to start blending out underneath her eyes with a brush, and then I will switch to the beauty blender, just because I prefer to bounce back and forth, even on myself. I'll do the brush, and then I'll just um, use the beauty blender to really push the product in and make it blend with the foundation so it's not too stark. I'm just setting underneath her eye with the RCMA powder with the Beauty Blender to really press it in. And now we're going to highlight the eye. I'm using Primavera to do the inner corners and underneath the brow bone. Sorry I didn't show me setting the other eye or highlighting the other eye the, on the opposite side. I was covering it. I keep getting in the way. I totally forgot that I was filming, so sorry about that. For lips, I'm taking the Maybelline Lip Gloss. It's a pink one from their lip palette, which is discontinued, but it's still in my kit, so I want to use it up until it's gone. And now I'm taking a little bit of NYX Ginger Snap and putting that right in the center because it has a brown undertone just to, you know, tone the pinkiness down. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to show her, and she loved it, her mom loved it, I was super excited, so I didn't get any good modeling um, shots at the end, so I have a few pictures, I'm obsessed with how this came out, let me know if you guys like it, and what kind of look you want to see me do on another client, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week, bye!